in the margins, maybe you have a couple of things like, so what do you want to improve? Is it maybe, um, maybe you have to do, maybe you haven't really paid attention to punctuation or, or capitalization. Maybe you need to um, have your evidence a little stronger, or maybe you need to be a little bit more clear on what you mean. Okay, so on the screen is what we're doing right now. You're putting a smiley face next to the parts, part or parts. Maybe it's your thesis, maybe it's your topic statement, maybe it's your, um, yeah, some of those final things. What you feel is the strongest, or maybe you're the most proud of. And then a little triangle, maybe next to a section that, ooh, maybe you could improve it a little bit. And then tell me, just right in the margin, and this is actually for your benefit, because I'm going to just grade your final one. What are some things that maybe you want to improve on? So maybe you want to, maybe you haven't really been paying attention of um, spelling or capital letters or periods. Or maybe you need to do a little bit clearer elaboration or better complete sentences. Okay, thanks for coming up. On the board is what we are doing right now. So on the WebEx. Here I can share my video just in case I'm glitchy. Okay. So this is what we're doing right now. You guys, what is our WebEx number? Could somebody tell me it really quick? One, two, zero, six, one, one, zero, yeah. seven, zero, seven. Seven, zero, and seven. The password seven. Capital S is L P six. Six. So eight, one, two, zero, mm -hmm. six, one, one, zero, seven, zero, seven. And the password is at capital S L P six. Thank you. I just got the last four numbers wrong. Awesome. Okay. So again, we're looking at our draft of 27A that you either did in Notability or in your workbook. Um, and um, you are putting a smiley face next to the part that you feel is the strongest or maybe the most proud. Um, you can do multiple. If there's a couple sections, perfect. Um, if there's just one, that's fine. Ooh, lovely. Yes, yeah, so we wrote our rough draft, our, and our paragraphs was, our supporting paragraphs were the biggest part. And so now we're just kind of reviewing it today. So we're going to place a triangle symbol next to the sections maybe you need most improvement. So maybe you have a really strong first paragraph, but you think your second one maybe needs a little bit more improvement. Or maybe just a... Um, a single section. Mm -hmm. So maybe you need to do some more background. Okay, now that you've written it, or maybe just your whole introduction, you want to add, um, make it clear. Now, one of the things that I, that a lot of times um, authors will do, ladies and gentlemen, when they're writing papers, um, language arts, is sometimes people will do their paragraphs, they'll write their paragraphs and their conclusion first, and then they'll go back to their introduction and say what's in their introduction. Okay, we kind of did, we did it to where we did the intro first, but really, there is no order on what order you have to do these things. So like I said, a lot of people, they will, um, they will do the paragraphs first, and then they will will do the um, final or the introduction um, last. Give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to copy something really quick. Okay. So, I want this. What we're going to do today um, and actually, does anybody want to share what part that they're the proudest about before we continue? Or that you have a very strong piece? Did anybody want to share what part they're the proudest? I like, um, I like hearing positive things. 
Um, about what again? I got here late. Yeah, that's fine. Um, this is what we are. So while people are sharing, this is what you can do with, um, this is what, 27A? This is what we did yesterday. So if you guys weren't haven't been co coming to class, you have a lot of work to do. Okay, Harper, do you want to share what part you're the proudest of working on your draft? Um, and I said, would you go to war for your land? It's my hook. Um, would you go to war for your land and lose, or and lose your family, or would you want to leave your home? Ah, that is a very good attention getter. I am very riveted to see your your thing, um, Riley. What did are we supposed to be doing it on? Supporting paragraph one or a supporting paragraph two, what two or the any first part. page? Any part. What is the proudest part that you have? Well, I have four because I think all my elaborations are one of them. But um, I'm gonna just like, share one. Okay. Um, Chief Justice is a kind and gentle man, and he cares for his people because he does not want more blood. He wants to be done with war and start healing. Ooh, that is a very good elaboration sentence. I like that. Um, Miss Greta, do you want to share what part you're proud of that you've written so far? Um, I really like my hook. Mm -hmm. How far would you go to protect the people you love in the land you love? Would you fight someone to get it back? Oh, very nice. Yes, I am actually, I am super excited to read them. I, I got chills on that one again, too. You guys, your hooks, I think, are going to be amazing. Um, there are so many good things, though, because it was so controversial, this, um, or even sad, this book. Um, Brielle, did you have something that you need to? Um... Yeah, but I lost it. Okay. Um, those of you that have banned today, I'm going to talk to you about what we're going to really work on. And so um, we're going to have most of the time to work on it. So you're going to start working on your essay today, your final draft, and then um, you can finish it if you have to go to band. You'll have to finish it later. Okay, so our question, our big final question. Now, our main question of this whole unit has been how do cultural beliefs and values guide people? And we have really, my question that we're writing our um, whole essay, this is kind of like our final um, big essay. We've been reading it all on the book. What important beliefs and values guide Chief Joseph and his daughter Sound of Running Feet? So that's what you've been writing about. Um, so I want to read for you. Um, and actually, I want everybody to go to Schoology. And I want you to click on Day 21, Questioning Task 5, Compare and Contrast Essay. And you can start it because this is kind. Of, this is what we're gonna do today. I've got things in detail for you. Okay. So, we've already drafted our thesis. We have already gotten our idea. Here, I'll show you what we've so far. What we've done. So, if you haven't been in class um, since Friday, like last week, Thursday. We've been working on this bit by bit. We did the introduction on Friday, and then we did our supporting paragraphs yesterday. So we talked about the hook, um, talked about the introduction, and our thesis. Yes, I please. opened the test, um, so am I supposed to start doing it right now, or what? We are going to start doing it right now, and that's where we're going to write our essay. So I'm just showing you what we've done so far for those that maybe um, or just need a review. So ladies and gentlemen, I, you should have in front of you 27A, and you don't really need 18B too much because everything should be in outline, okay? So this is our outline. So we've kind of written everything. The only thing we haven't really done is the conclusion. So ladies and gentlemen, um, before, so let me, let's, we're going to look at the quiz or the S, where we're going to write the essay um, um, together. Okay, so this is what we are writing about, okay? And then let's try to write the conclusion and then we're gonna write down our whole, your rest of your day is gonna be finishing this essay. So you've got most of it all done. And so you just have to write, put it in deep and you just have to refine it and um, write it out and add stuff maybe you missed. So remember, 
Our main question is what important beliefs and values guide Chief Joseph and Sound of Running Feet? So if you haven't been here, really pay attention today. Okay. So we have um, here's some background information. We've got people like Chief Joseph, Sound of Running Feet, and the Nez Perce tribe that they fleed their homeland um, by the U.S. Army. And we read this book and we notice that they have very similar and different beliefs. And it's reflected throughout their words, co um, action, so thoughts, words, and actions in the story. So what beliefs and values do they share? How are they different? And how do these beliefs and values guide their actions in the novel? So here is what you had to do. So when you think, so while I'm reading this, I want you to think, do I have this in my essay? You are pretending that you have an audience, so maybe the other sixth graders or the other fifth graders that have read Thunder Rolling in the Mountain. You are going to write an essay, which we've been working on, to compare and contrast Chief Joseph and Sound of Running Feet's most important beliefs and values. In your essay, explain one important belief or value that Chief Joseph and Sound of Running Feet share and one important way in which their belief or value differs. And then explain and elaborate on them. So here is what you should have. Now, you guys, at the if you look at the very bottom, I have a checklist. And this checklist is in here. So right now, in your rough draft, I want you to turn to your rough draft. And I want you to put a check if you've got these things. Okay, you should have. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read them out to you. And while you are... While I'm reading them, I want you to put a check next to it on your um, essay or your rough draft. And if you are missing um, something, write it in the margins. Yes. Is a rough draft the hook introduction so thesis? Your rough draft is this whole document, 27A. Yep. So this whole thing, everything you've written, is, kind, is your rough draft. It has your guide. Does that make sense? So hopefully you put in here, like I said, as much information. We look to see, um, we kind of looked today and we wrote triangles, maybe next to parts that we want to improve. And I want you to put a checklist. Do you have this? Okay. So for example, do you have an introduction that has background? Okay. So I'm going to look. Do I have some good background? Yes, so I'm going to put a checklist, or I'm going to put, actually, let's put a star next to that. I've got a background. Yep, so I want you to put a star next to it. Do you have a thesis that tells me a similarity and a difference between Chief Joseph and their belief? So I'm going to look. Yes, I do. Do you have two supporting paragraphs? One that has a comparison and one that is a contrast. So put a star next to those if you have them. In each paragraph, do you have evidence from Thunder Rolling in the Mountains? So did you put the page number? So I'm gonna put a star next to where I have evidence. Oh, but I forgot. Remember how Senior Wurzinger, she said, oh, kind of put the page number. Okay, so I might need to write here, oh, I forgot the page number. So page number. If you need help finding some of these things, some of your page numbers, please ask because I can help you. Okay, I've got the book in front of me too. Okay, do you have um, elaboration of your evidence to show how it is similar or the beliefs and values are similar or different? Put a star next to those. Ooh, do you have a transition? So it has here kind of a concluding statement. And here you should have a transition. So a lot of times that will be your concluding statement. Ooh, we do not have a conclusion yet, so we're going to write this next. And then do you have correct spelling and punctuation and capitalization? So ladies and gentlemen, look through your stuff really quick. 
ooh, that's something I need to work on. So I'm going to say, I'm going to put right in here, um, have complete, because that's what Samira Wersing is going to grade me on, is complete senses. I'm going to grade you on literally those things. And maybe, ooh, I need to go through and put some periods. And one other hint, remember how we talked about, I want everybody to look at my WebEx really quick. Remember how we talked about how we use these um, acronyms or these shortened words, S-O-R-F and C-J? Remember the first time you introduce them, you should tell me their full name. So I, the first time I talked about them was in my background. So, and you should probably introduce your characters in your background. So if you didn't introduce them, I would maybe talk about them in your background. I wrote sound of running feet and in parentheses, I wrote how I'm going to refer her as because I'm not gonna know what SORF is if I don't actually name her at the beginning. And then Chief Joseph, I'm gonna name him as CJ. So don't forget to actually put their names one time in here and then if you're abbreviating them. So in the essay, we're gonna put CJ. If you want Chief to, Joseph. if you wanna write okay. Chief Joseph or Sound of Running Feet the whole time, is it gonna make your um, essay sound more professional? Yes. But, um, and if you're only gonna use their names a couple times, yeah, I'd write their name out each time because it will make it a lot more professional. But if you choose um, to abbreviate, don't forget to list them first. Yes. Sir. At the beginning, um, in the introduction, mm -hmm. I wrote um, S O R F and C J. Yep. But um, I won't have space to write Sound of Running Feet and um, Chief Joseph, and so I wrote it like where it's the um, stars. Yep. Perfect. So I would say um, name. So write out names. Remember, this is kind of your rough draft. Write out names. Mm -hmm. because what we're going to do is we're going to write, so those of you that have band, we're going to really quickly write our conclusion, and then we're going to take this, and you are going to fill out, and you're going to write your essay here. You're going to actually type it up today, okay? And The then, whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing. But do you have... And that little thing? Well, it, it expands. So this, this will get bigger and bigger and bigger. Like, you can keep writing. You can write everything. Um, Does that make sense? I can't. Yeah. Um, but Are we supposed to write? The... Oh. Uh, in, the ch in, the... in the test, I can't see the checklist. Okay. Like, yeah, that. So, what, so you actually have this in your workbook, too. So, I, so let me, let me tell you what our plan is that way if you're going to band I'm gonna you're gonna know this is the checklist that is on it is 28a so flip to 28. 28a yep 20 um are we supposed to write like thesis and hook and all that stuff in our essay or no so let me so what you're gonna do and actually if you want to write it I'll tell you there's a couple of things you can do. You can either write it right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at, so I'm going to right here, we're gonna do this as our paragraph. So I'm gonna show you an example. Everybody look at my WebEx really quick. So- Can I say something? Yes, Braille. Yep. So the grading when like you check yourself off is like the plus line and like triangle. What do they mean again? So the plus means that you have it. And then the X is maybe that you don't have it. And you are the only one that's going to look at it. And then I'm going to grade you on it too. Yep. So I'll, I'll talk to that. I'll talk about that in just a second. Okay. So what we're going to do today, our main focus for today. So we reviewed 
We've kind of looked at some things we need to improve. Okay, this is our rough draft because in our final here, um, we are going to now write this in paragraphs together. And you have everything here. And I made notes of things that I need to do. So I'm going to start with my first paragraph. Okay, I'm going to say how far, so don't, don't write anything yet, I'm going to show you. How far would, actually, you know what? One of the nice things with Notability is you can copy it and you can paste it. How far would you go to your fam to, to protect your family? I'm going to put my background in it. Then I'm going to put my thesis. But you know what? I didn't really put, um, this is where I might have to change things a little bit. So uh, if I copied things from here, I need to make sure that I reread it because remember, because I wrote in here, ooh, I didn't really have com complete sentences. So if I put in here what I have here, I'm going to make sure that it has capital letters and everything. So when you do each paragraph, I want you to read it before you continue on. So I put, how far would you go to protect your family? Sound of Running Feet and Chief Joseph are both part of the Nimi Poo. Ooh. I found an error, so I'm going to change it. Tribe, and are moved from their homeland. Oop, this information is connected to our two points. No, I don't need that. Okay. Um, I'm going to add on to this. Um, they are moved from their homeland um, by the U.S. Army. Okay, so you guys, this is mine. So make so you're not writing what I wrote. Just watch for now. So they were, they were moved from their homeland. Ooh, and they, ooh, yeah, they were moved from their homeland by the U.S. Army. Ooh, I want, I forgot to say that they, um, their, their homeland was very important. Homeland was, or is, or was, it was in the past, very important to the Nimipu, and many wanted to fight for their homeland. Okay. So Sound of Running Feet and Chief Joseph have similar and different beliefs and values on how to do this. So I wrote it here in my outline, but I need to kind of expand on it because I forgot to. Beliefs and values on how to protect their homeland. Okay, so I have my thesis. They want to protect their tribe, but, and I'm going to actually put this together, but they believe they should protect them differently. Okay, so you guys, this was my rough draft. So I used my information and I put it here. Okay. So then what I would do is I would continue on to my, I would do a space, I would do enter, maybe you want to do a space, because we can't do tab. Then we are going to put in our next paragraph. Then we're going to do a couple spaces and put in our next paragraph. Then we're going to do a couple spaces and we're going to do our conclusion. Now, Senora Wurzinger, this is really, really hard to see. You guys, could you always do this in Notability, like types up in Notability, and then copy and paste it in here. That way you can see it better. Yeah. And I think Notability tells you if you have words wrong. Does that make sense? So if you want to type it up in Notability or Word document first, and then copy and paste it in here, beautiful. When you're all done, so I have my beautiful paragraph. Okay, my paragraph, give me one second. My paragraph, how many paragraphs should you have? We should have one introduction. Three or four? Four. One supporting paragraph, two supporting paragraph, and a conclusion. So I should have four paragraphs. Okay, so this one was paragraph two. Okay, so that continues. Okay, then I should have paragraph three that continues, and then I should have my 
conclusion. Okay. When you're all done, you want to make sure before you submit it, submit it, that everything is really nice. You should make sure that you have correct spelling, punctuation, and capitalization. Here's a hint. Before you submit it, I want you to read it out loud. A lot of times you can hear errors. You can hear problems that you wrote. Okay, so even as you notice, I was reading it out loud, and some of you guys heard my errors. So read it out loud. Then you can use this checklist. So you can, this checklist is, um, what did I say, 28A? 20, yes, 28A. So if you want to look at that in your book, otherwise it's right here. Did you do this? If not, you should add to your thing before you turn it in. I explained one important belief or value that Chief Joseph and Sound of Running Feet share. Yes, in my first paragraph, I did. I explained one way in which they differ. My second paragraph, I did. I explained how these similar different beliefs and values guide each character's action in the novel. Yeah, so I did say how um, it tells me what they did. Um, are we supposed to be writing the whole four pages? So, you should, because you have everything here, right? We're going to have the rest of class to write it. Mm -hmm. So, yep, so we got the rest of the class to write it. So, you've already pretty much written everything, right? All uh, you have to do is put it in a paragraph form. And you have to just make it sound and make it look lovely. Does that make sense? So all four pages. All four pages. <gasps> we're gonna start today, but I'm gonna we're gonna have most of you to work on it. But I'm gonna say if you need tomorrow to work on it, you probably will have tomorrow. So really quickly, because some people have to leave for band. But it, let's look at our conclusion before you start typing. I'll give you a couple days, but we're gonna have a half an hour today, and I'll give you some time tomorrow. I think. So, everybody turn really quickly before we start putting everything together. Let's do our conclusion. What is our top, what is our, what is our story about or what is our essay about? Let's see. I how they protect, yeah. um, how they protect uh, their tribe. Yep, so that might have been yours. They have they very different beliefs and values. Yeah. Mine was, what would you do if you didn't Chief Joseph or Sound of Running feet, um, feet, <laughs> like they're in their shoes? Oh, well, because we're talking about their beliefs and values. Yep. So not necessarily what, what they would do. We're talking about what they already did. So, yep. So look at your thesis here. And you are going to, so you're going to just restate this. So can you say this in another another way? So what did you write? And say it in a different way. So I'm going to write that right here. I'm going to re-say my thesis. So that's something about beliefs and values. And then, yeah, what did you write about? I already opened the test, and it says you only can do it once, um, so I'm not going to be able to do finish it tomorrow. You, you can resume it, so just don't press submit. Does that make sense? So you can open it as many times as you want, but don't press submit mm -hmm. until you're all done, all done. Yep. So, yeah, if we need more time, I will give us more time. Okay, leaves. Um, I'm doing it in Notability and so I can copy it. Yep, that works. And then, so what? What is, and a lot of times I say give your opinion in this part, so what? So what do you think? Maybe you agree with one of them or maybe you think Or maybe what would you do in that situation or what wouldn't you do? So you can put a couple sentences about, so what? What do you think? This is a lot of place where you put your opinion.
<laughs> so like I said, I'm going to put it here. This is kind of like your opinion. Okay. So the rest of the time, I want you to look at this and I want you to start putting it beautiful together in paragraphs. What did you write? When you're done, make sure that you reread it. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to put it directly into focusing question task five, compare and contrast essay, that's fine. Or you can put it in notability. I would just start typing it. And when you're all done, if we don't finish today, that's fine. I'll, I think maybe I'll give you, I'll give you maybe the last little bit of class tomorrow to work on it. I'll change it so that we don't have as much tomorrow. Just don't submit it. Yep. So the rest of the time. Tomorrow. So we will, if, so we've got all of today to, to submit it or to work on it to start putting it all together now to do our final, final draft, but we'll have some time tomorrow too, okay? So. I think um, we should skip doing like um, the point one on the thesis and point two because we're already gonna be doing that. So you can. Second page and third. You can. I you don't can, know. You can, so what I want you to do is I want you to put this, can I, I think I can do this. Can Oh, you can do a split screen. I can't, I wanna do a split one. So I want you to put all of this information now into beautiful paragraphs. That's what we're doing. If you want to do it here, beautiful. If you want to do it notability, beautiful. It does not matter to me. So work on that now. If you've already finished so your essay. You can just write it in notability and put it into the. Yeah. So then when we're all done, what we'll do is we'll copy it. And then you can paste it in. Yep. Because sometimes the problem with um, Schoology is you can only see a little bit. So notability, you could see it much better. And you should have four paragraphs. So do not leave. I want you to work on it. Um, you can leave at 1030. Okay, but I want everybody to work on it now. Let's see. What happens if you finish, um, if you finish your essay before 1030? Uh, send, uh, then I want you, then you can start your homework and start reading online. Yep. But if you think that you finished, I want you to use checklist, check it off. I want you to reread it. So if you think you finished, finished, so I've got like two people that have said they finished. I want you to look at the checklist. I want you to reread it out loud. Mm -hmm. Each paragraph should have at least about five sentences, you guys. So if you've got a paragraph. Because I finished. I finished the first page, like the hook of the thesis, but now I'm on supporting paragraph point one. Perfect. Yep, so if you finished, then I want you to make sure that you reread it. I want you to use the checklist. Do you have everything? You should have, like I said, about four, five, you should have about almost five sentences per paragraph. Okay, we've been spending, this will be, we'll probably spend, we're gonna spend four, four days on this. So we've been working on it quite a bit.
Um, what page is it when Chief Joseph wants to surrender? The first time, the first time with the tribes, or when he actually surrenders? The first time, when um, the with other the chiefs were like, "Don't surrender, you'll regret it for your life." Okay. Um. I can't find it. I think page one hundred two. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Um, actually, let's see. It might be later is when they actually do. Give me one second. Let me double check. Nope. 107. So 107 is when he actually surrenders. That's where he says, I'm tired of fighting. Our chiefs are killed. Looking glass is dead. I have to go for band. Yep, if you have to go for band, um, that is fine. And you can work, work on a little bit later, please. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yep, I got most of those that are in band. So you have to go to band? Perfect. Yes. 
I think we wrote that one. There must be no blood is on page 16. Um, yep, so that one, Miss Ellie, I have that on page 16. Does that answer your, your whole question, Ellie? Page 16. Yeah, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, if you summarize something, or you quote something directly, you need to tell me what page it's on. So a lot of our evidence, we should have those page numbers. That's why I'm saying, let me know. I forgot. Um, who is charging Hawk with again? Is he with like the whites? Or? He was with the um, Asina Boyens. Here, I can write the name in the chat. Um, yeah, he was the he was a different um, tribe. What page does Chief Joseph say there must be no blood? Page sixteen. Assiniboines, A S S I N I B O I N S. So I just pulled um, Assiniboines on page 111. There's a whole bunch. They say the Assiniboines a few times in the towards the bottom. But yes, page 16 is just there must not be any blood. And this one we wrote on our 18B evidence organizer. So those of you that maybe didn't um, finish your essay right away yesterday or your rough drafts, remember we used 18B. And if you had lost it, I tried sending it to you as you told me that you needed it in notability or you wrote it down. Okay. Huh? So at the, like after we were done reading yeah. the book, we wrote that essay about like the letter. Yes. Um, could I include the letter even though it didn't happen in the book? So, hmm, like what part of what part of your letter are you like, thinking? Like, like after. Sorry, say that like afterwards, um, they wrote a letter to the other one explaining. Well, in real life, they didn't. But maybe what you could do is in the conclusion with you when you put your opinion, you could say, 
I wonder if they ever contacted each other again, like in a letter. Does that make sense? Because they didn't actually yeah, write a you. yeah, they didn't actually write a letter to them each other. But maybe you could say, I really, I wonder. That could be a, something you could put in the conclusion. I wonder if they ever wrote a letter to each other, because it does say in the afterward that they never saw each other again. So you could say like. Um, the story says they never saw each other again, but I think, but I wonder if they ever got a chance to write a letter to each other. You can do something like that. Um, why don't you read right here? You finish. Oh, you finished my Sunday. Okay, then um, I would read. I would read. Um, do your homework and read um, for thirty minutes right now. Okay. I need to shut off my um, or turn down my volume so you can pay attention. You can do that if you're reading quietly. Okay, Nora. Um, you can find that you use the checklist. Do I have to submit the 27A PDF anywhere? Um, well, what you'll end up doing is you'll end up copying it to so copy your essay in here. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. Are you talking about the checklist? No, that's just for you to kind of go, yep, I got it. Yep. Nope. I got to work on it. I got to add it. Okay. sucks is that cell service is acting up and I accidentally deleted notability and it won't let me re-download it. So I have to write it all. You should be able to, I mean, if you're, if you're not able to re-download it, you need to probably contact the school because we use notability all the time. So if it's not working, you need to let the school know so you can get it. Maybe something to do with my mom because she got a router 
to connect with my um, iPad. So maybe she like blocked the service or something. So I'll talk with her. Okay. Yeah. You definitely need notability because we do everything in notability. So if you don't have it, then you need to let the school know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just so then you know, Brielle, you'll have to type everything up in here in our quiz where it says the assessment or compare and contrast essay. You'll have to type it all up in here in Schoology then. Okay, um, I did all the things, so. Okay. Did you look at the checklist? Oops. Look at the, um, checklist? Yep. Yes, I did. All right. Um, if you are finished and you have put it in here and if you would like it, you can. Um, and you can leave now, but if you are not, go ahead and still keep working for about five minutes, okay? I finished my essay. Okay, then you should have copied it into, um, focusing question task by compare and contrast essay. Okay, so you should have copied it into here. If you would like to leave, Ellie, you can. Okay. <laughs> 
Can lead with your finish. We've got about three more minutes, but you can just feel like you. Hey, everybody, if you would like to, it is the end of English, so if you would like to leave, um, you can. Um, I have, I'm free until 11, 30, 11 o'clock. Do you guys have class with Miss Hale right now? Okay, but I'm here if you um, want. Um, I'm still, if you want to still work on it. Otherwise, I'll give you a little bit of time to work on it tomorrow if you didn't quite finish. Okay? If you did not finish this outline, um, you probably should finish. Leave, but still work on it? Yep. Yep, okay. that is totally fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Oh, wait. Tomorrow's Wednesday. So see you on Thursday. Goodbye. See you on Thursday. Yep. Goodbye. <laughs> Saber que lo vas a usar para pasar un buen rato de aprendizaje. Te olvido que el cine está desmantizado en algún patada de cinco de tu cuerpo. Quiero que sepas que no te amas. Quiero que sepas que yo de menú. Te olvido que el sol me enredo. Pensado en almofada, el sudor de tu cuerpo, quiero que sepas, yo de nada. Es que he escrito yo por ti, cada será, y gritas de mí, quiero que sepas. Si fue para ti, me escucharás. Si no estás
quiero que sepa mucho menos que olvido que son tres de dos y sabes la vida no te pongo a poner que es un deseo